Ladies and gentlemen, Namaskar, good evening. Welcome to the Hungarian Information and Culture Center. I'm immensely happy to have you here to share the experience with us because uh, today we will have a very unique program. A book release, a short book release, uh, and then a uh, wonderful concert. As I mentioned at the university yesterday, where the Kalaka is given very, very uh, popular concert, everything changes around us in the world, except for the Kalaka, which is eternal. Because uh, they formed the uh, ensemble in 1969, when I was born. And I listened to Kalaka. And then my daughter listen to Kalanka. And I hope my grandchildren also will listen uh, to Kalanka. So I think some of you uh, know what I mean. So now I would like to request uh, Dr. Margit Kovesh to moderate uh, the book release and say a few words about the uh, Oran Janos volume. Good evening. Welcome you to this uh, great, uh, great event, to the high point of the project which we had with Kalaka and about Janos Aram. Uh, the Agra, Jan, Aran Janos Ersei, a Kalaka Editors Eladásában. So the title of the project in English is On Flies the Bird, On Flies the Song, Poems by Janos Arany in the performance of the Kalaka Ensemble. And within this project we wanted to present Hungarian poetry on the occasion of Janos Arany's 200th year birth anniversary. Arany Janos was born in 1817 and this year is 2017. So this was the occasion. Arany Janos is a representative Hungarian poet, though Petőfi is considered to be our national poet, but Janos Arany's breadth of work, the genres of literature he cultivated, and his enormous knowledge of ancient Hungarian history and Hungarian literature makes him also very apt to the role of the national poet. He had a very special anthropological and cultural vision of Hungarian language and Hungarian past. So, uh, in my opinion, he deserves to be the national poet as much as Sándor Petrufi, who was also Hugo's closest friend. And Kalaka, we know, is the, already in uh, <coughs> spoke about Kalaka, is an ensemble that from the beginning of, his foundation, of its foundation is 1969 has been dedicated to the popularization of Hungarian poetry. Kolaka refers to the Hungarian as the Transylvanian folk custom of building a house together. And as Anna said several times already yesterday, is Kolaka builds the house of our culture, of our intellectual, spiritual knowledge as Hungarians. Apart from Orony, the members of Kalaka are outstanding interpreters of, Hungary, of other Hungarian poets, for example, Lajos Aprili, Attila József, Sándor Kányádi, and Sándor Vörös, and we heard several of their interpretations yesterday with great, great success in the university. Uh, I'm very, very happy that so many of our friends and, the stu and students are here. Uh, I've always, I, I myself, this was a work of love, the, poet, the, the collection of poetry. I, um, my love of Hindi language is a kind of a one-sided uh, love, love affair. They, I, I would say in Hindi it is Ektarafapyar. Mm -hmm. I love the language, but the language does not always return my love. <laughs> so, uh, 
But I still go on loving it and try to translate uh, Hungarian poetry and prose with my friends <laughs> and love to read poetry to my, to my students, my, my uh, friends, and to my husband. And I love the Hindi formulations, phrases, and rhymes which emerge from these translations. And I'm especially grateful for the work of the book, uh, this Janos Aroni Katnagit Devam Kavitae. I'm especially uh, grateful to the, for this book, to my students, and most particularly to my intermediate group. Many of the, of the students of the intermediate group, group are here. Uh, Himani was very, very great help of in the course of translation, Nemali Parasha. Not only in the course of translation, but she translated five very long poems, among them Regecho Achoda Sarvasrol, she translated. Uh, but she also typed out the, uh, almost the entire manuscript. Uh, I also, in the Krit Kaur, she's not here, and uh, other, the other students who are here, Akash, Sharma, they, are, they all participated, Abhishek and others, they all participated in the work of translation. They read the poems together, but it was the Himani and the that <coughs> completed some of this translation. Apart from them, there were some other translators, the poet. There were some other translators. The poet, poet Suresh Salil, who is unfortunately unwell and could not come, translated seven poems in the collection. And uh, here is Indukant Angiras, who is a practice translator, who translated uh, some of the poems, and he will also read out some of his translations. Uh, I'm most grateful in the whole process of work to Girda Rafi, who went up through all the translations and to put in extremely hard words to do the corrections. It was very necessary because many of the translators <coughs> have done, have the published work for the first time in this collection. So we have done much work. Ashok Shri Ashok Maheshwari Budinka of Raj Kamal Prakashan has also uh, came to our help and completed the work at a very high quality, you'll see it later. I also owe a debt of gratitude to Vivan and Navina Sundaram, who gave us permission for the use of Amrita Shetty's watercolor. This is a child, this is a childhood painting, which Amrita Shetty did at the age of 11, and after reading Toldi Serel and Toldi Kapyar, uh, which uh, Imani also, uh, some stanzas of which Imani also translated into Hindi. Uh, 